Space scientists were hit hard earlier this month when the world's second largest radio telescope collapsed. Look at that. The Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico was shown in blockbuster movies like the James Bond hit Golden Eye and the science fiction classic Contact. Well, now China is opening the world's largest radio telescope to international scientists. CBS News is the only U.S. TV network granted permission to see the more than 1,600-foot telescope. Ramian Asensio shows us what he found. Nestled, shining and silent in the forested limestone hills of remote southwest China, the world's biggest single-dish radio telescope, more than five football fields across, is now scanning beyond our skies. Its Chinese name, Tianyan, means Eye of Heaven. Twelve families were first relocated out of this natural depression. Engineers laid down more than 4,000 aluminum panels over a year to detect faint, mysterious, fast radio bursts and ripples in space-time and to search for signs of extraterrestrial life. This telescope is some 26 years in the making and became fully operational last January. CBS News gained television access on a cold December weekend only because the telescope was offline for maintenance. We've got the highest sensitivity in the world, says Wang Qiming, FAST's chief inspector. See that huge steel ring? See those six towers piercing the clouds? They're spectacular and gigantic. We're all so happy. This is the apple of this cosmic eye, the 30-ton feed cabin, hoisted by those towers nearly 500 feet up. Its job, to collect data from the universe reflected from the dish. Breathtaking to see it all physically complete. What we don't see is also super interesting. A mandatory radio quiet zone that stretches more than three miles in every direction right from here. Scientists want to listen to very faint radio waves coming from millions of light years away, not from someone's cell phone down the road. The FAST telescope is now even more important to the world after the catastrophic collapse of the Arecibo radio telescope in Puerto Rico just weeks ago. A 900-ton feed cabin plummeted through the radio dish after multiple suspension cables failed. I asked Wang, who visited Arecibo, how he felt. He said he grieved for the loss of a partner and good friend for half a century and said China would share its telescope with the world. Astronomy has no borders. He says this kind of science includes us all. For CBS This Morning, Ramy Innocencio in remote Guizhou province, southwest China. Such an important, I mean, we need telescopes like that to be able to figure out what's going on in outer space. I do believe. I do believe. I do too. You do? I do. All right, all right. Whoa, live long and prosper, Tarika Duncan. I know, Jamie's like, <laughs> Star Trek nerds here.